Hello, my good friends. Breaking the runner champion wrestler here clears. I am going to come back to it, but a bit of Saturday bonus content. It's something that's a bit niche. I've been having a look at this recently. Um, if you remember, we did way back in season one, James Buster Douglas heavyweight, uh, James Buster Douglas boxing, sorry, knockout boxing, which was an American reskinning of heavyweight champ on the mass system. Later on, Sega then re-released heavyweight champ in the EU and in Australia is this. George Foreman's KO Boxing. As you can see, like, Acclaim and Flying Edge got the license, and it looks a little different, although it plays kind of very similar. And I thought to myself, like, it is very similar to Buster Douglas Boxing, so maybe, like, a full episode wouldn't uh, wouldn't kind of make sense. But I do like the idea of having a, a run through it, because it is a load of fun. Um, so I am going to have a look at it this morning. Okay, so what we're going to do is try and win the title with George Foreman. As you can see, look at that. So the system works the same as you can see, you've got uh, power recovery and footwork and super punches at the bottom, so when you start off you're garbage. So you can see it works kind of, the engine looks kind of similar, it's marginally redesigned, but it's just it, it's just loads of fun in it. A bit of time on the jab right. The thing that's different on this is, uh, like, if you can get the timing right on the jab, when you, if you back up into a corner, it's actually better to go to the body a little bit on this one. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, he ducked a couple. Look at this. Come on, ref. That's it. But the problem is, early doors, you've got so little power. It's just like... I mean, you'd like... Admittedly, none of these are showstoppers, but still. Oh, you'd like to think the ref would have had a word. Big George absolutely wrecking shop early doors. Same thing, you get one for a points win, like points to spend. You get two for a TKO and you get... Should try super punch, see if I can get it. And you hit three for a knockout. Oh, big shot there. From that point where I really haven't got a load of power, I should try and just flurry him. At there you see, that's a decent result. Because I'm not going to TKO him, but he's not going to get a load of energy back in between rounds. He'll probably get up on about seven. Nice eight. Um, but he's going to be absolutely done here. I don't want to hit him too much, to be honest, in case I knock him out. I want to see if I can get three knockdowns on him while he quit. Oh, 10-7, though. Brave. Chucking that scorecard in the, uh, the commissioner's face. Pick the bones out of that, son. 10-7. And there, one of the key differences. George eating a hamburger there between a... Uh, I mean, it beggars belief, doesn't it? But anyhow, that's the uh, the joy of these uh, these random games. Right. So I'm going to super punch back him up early. Oh, beautiful. Oh, floored him with it as well. That's a big old shot. He's notoriously hard to knock out the first guy is. Because you don't have a lot of power, for one. You'll usually find that he'll... Uh, He'll take like it. He'll just continually take a bludgeoning. Oh, nice little uppercut on the inside. Oh, dipped him to the body. He didn't rate that at all. Come on, stay down, son. He ain't staying down. He's going to get up at about nine, isn't he? Eight, nine. Oh, I've done him. Unbelievable. Something that you see, and there may be a bit of a theme here, um, you see this a bit more on Foreman's KO Boxing. Nice, of course he does. The fact that you can, uh, you generally can, uh, you can KO people a bit more. Event 2. Who's up next? G Steel. I, predictably, will take 4 in power. <laughs> right. Let's try the age-old classic of back eye of Drago in a corner. Oh, shot. Land a couple of jabs and back him up. Geezer's done. Oh, got hit side of the body. Come on. He's ducking and blocking quite well, in all fairness. Oh, he didn't rate that, though, did he? Absolutely wrecked. That's the new power you see. George has clearly been, uh, been hitting the Foreman grill hard. I mean, 
He struggled to get up there. Should I try to have I used a super punch yet? Yeah, I have. I'll save one for the next round. Oh, straight in that jab. Big George not afraid to stick that jab out here. Come on. Get him in the body. Get him in the body. Oh! Two big right hands. Didn't rate that at all. I mean, he's struggling. He'll probably get up on about eight. Ugh. Strong round for Foreman. Oh! He finished quite well, though. Another 10 7, mind. Pick the bones out of that. Go on, George, get a hamburger. I mean, he looks absolutely gassed, that juice head. He's got so much energy back, though. Unbelievable. Clearly on EPO or something. Right. <laughs> EPO, mate. Right. Straight in. Oh, that's unlucky. Nice shot of the body. Oh! Crunching jab to start the round off. I st he's still hit from the round before, any surely. Took a lot of heavy shots. Seven, maybe? Yeah, nine. Oh. Let's try and get him down again. I got the feeling he'll lay it. He might very well quit. We could soon see. Right, get the range to it. Come on. Oh. That old thing going for super punch. Oh, it's absolutely dipped him before he gets it off. That is a kind of risk, really. But the thing is on this, like, you don't have to get their energy all the way down for the to, for them to be knocked down. So it becomes one of those things where, like, uh, you look at, you, you weigh up the risk of, is it worth just bludgeoning him trying to get the super punch in? Right, no, I'll keep all of this. Oh, straight right there. Beautiful. Big George may have lost a step movement-wise. He hasn't lost any of that power, has he? Come on. Oh, starched him. Right. Hey, up, super punch. That's another tough round for him. Oh, 2014. Wave it off, ref. Once again, I'm going to great the recovery, so I'm not going to get a lot, but he's going to get quite a bit back there, I reckon. Yeah. It's not going to stop me absolutely coming out and trying to wreck him here. Let's try to get him done with the body, I think. Come on. Nice. One more. There you go. <laughs> I just felt one more and I could dip him to the body. He's got to be done here, hasn't he? Well, he's moving quite early. He's got up early from that, hasn't he? Right, straight back in. Oh, straight <laughs> dropped him. Wave it, ref. Save him from himself. This kid, this kid's too tough for his own good. Nah, he's out. Two straight KOs from Big George. That's really good, because obviously we've got quite a bit more now in the way of points to spend. Um, I mean, if you... Um, no. I just <laughs> Full power, full recovery, no footwork. That's what it's all about. Iron chain, a fist to granite. But unfortunately, feet are lad. Right. Let's try and back him into a corner a little bit. Nobody wants that form and jab these days, do they? Oh. Come with a nice straight air. Come here. Come on. Oh, he's cornered a bit. Oh, dipped the body a few times. You ain't gonna last long taking these. Oh. <laughs> stiff. Stiff work from Big George. 
he's struggling, bless him. Not surprisingly. He's up on 8 though. Um, keep my super punches, I think. I might really need him. As you can tell, like, from Buster Douglas Boxing, from Heavyweight Champ, if you played it, the uh, thing is actually the same. The, the soundtrack's actually the same. Um, but the graphics are a little different. you got a few different... Uh, the people in the audience are a touch different. Like, you can tell you've got a little acclaim thing on the ring, which is a little bit of detail. It's different. Like, there's, there's kind of subtle differences. Oh, he's down again. This geezer's struggling. G. Brown. <laughs> You'd probably be up on about eight, I would have thought, Willie. Oh, nine. Um, don't know what to do. I might as well just try and steam him. I'll save my super punches because I'll need him, but... Oh, that surely that was the shot that was going to finish him off. King of the ten sevens, me. Form an absolute... Now you see now with the art, we're back up to full strength, which is good. So we've got quite a lot in the way of recovery. Whereas he hasn't. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try and uncork a super punch. I think you should really need footwork. If I get another thingy, I'll I'll just buy it. If I'm not Oh Jesus. That was heavy. Sad let's try another one. Back to back super punches. Oh <sighs> Folded. Absolutely folded. Come on, Brown. Stay down. Stay down, Brown. <laughs> no, he's no, he's done. Jesus. Big George. Absolutely wrecking everybody. Fool's not wanting to know at all. A diet of sit-ups and hamburgers. Hitting the heavy bag. Nice. Hitting the heavy bag and hitting the burger joint. Right. Um. Couple of super punches. How many can I have? Five's maximum. I'm just sticking that in. Oh. George. What a wrecking machine. This kid, however. Quite hard. Try a super punch and early back him up. There he is. He combos quite well, this lad, this lad does. I'll try and get him in early. He doesn't like the form and jab. He really doesn't. He's struggling here. Wrath of the Glitch King. Don't get cocky and dip the body. Stick to plan. I say. You see, once you've got him down, you can kind of freestyle it a little bit. But uh, early doors, this kid's dangerous. Very dangerous. He'll be up soon, though. Seven-ish. Yeah. Up on eight. Um, might try... Did I use Super Punch to start? No, I'll leave Super Punch then. He rates a Super Punch. He doesn't rate blocking a jab, though, obviously. He gets very hard as well. Oh, see no end on the... Land... Oh. Right, I might try Super Punches now. Because I've still got a minute left. I could steam him here. Steaming, uh, steaming George Foreman TKO in the first. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm going in here. Try and back him up. Oh, bollocks. I'm going to struggle. Let's see. Solid fundamentals from Foreman. Oh, it's a war. Eating a lot to get in. Come on. Oh, how's he survived that? That's a mauling, absolute mauling inch of his life there. He'll get a load of energy back, though. First time I haven't had a cheeseburger in between rounds. It's good to see he's taking it seriously because it's a title fight, obviously. Maybe the commission's outlawed it. Who knows? Right, let's try Super Punch, back him up. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh, dropped him with a jab, though, instead. That's a good start. He'd be up, though. Tough cat, this guy. Seven-ish, probably. Yeah. Foreman's absolutely steamed everybody so far, though. Oh, same. Do you know what I mean? It's funny with the others, because you can kind of mess around a little bit and throw different combos and one thing one thing or another. This guy, the problem is that, like, he hits really hard. So you can find yourself, like, wandering, going, oh, I'll take one more and then I'll land the shot. And then you don't, and he lands the shot. Do you know what I mean? You stick to the solid fundamentals. The form and solid fundamentals. Bang. Oh, sorry, I'm going to use all these. If I can hit him. Come on. 
Oh, three super punches back to back. Wave it, ref. <laughs> He's absolutely toast. Foreman wins. And that's, yeah, what's that? Four hamburgers. George Foreman, the heavyweight champion of the world. That's a cool photo. Obviously, in the other one, you get the pic. In the heavyweight champion, you get the picture of your guy, Stevie Stinger Davis. And uh, in the Buster Douglas one, you get that photo of Buster. That looks like it hasn't thingied properly, but it is actually the, um, like the, the screen that comes up. Claim development by the white team. Staff plan program is a uh, program is Machida. Oh, interesting. Um, but yeah, um, an interesting, uh, an interesting fun bit of Saturday bonus content. I have got a bit of champion wrestler stuff recorded, and I might go back to it at some point. And I have got a few other clears, but I don't know. I just wanted to do this really. I just thought it'd be a quite uh, a niche bit of. Uh, uh, that's what this channel's all about, isn't it? It's niche games you might not have played. It's so Sega that they bought out basically three versions of the same game, all named differently. Like I say, it was only the EU and Australia that got this. Uh, America got um, uh, Buster Douglas Boxing. And then the EU before this, before this was relicensed, we had like Heavyweight Champ. Um, Heavyweight Champ, if you're after a copy of this um, and you want to go through the, the official and you're not emulating it, Heavyweight Champ's probably the cheapest one for you to find. Buster Douglas Boxing Online goes for an absolute fortune. And this goes for quite a bit because it's near the end of the Mass Systems run, so there's not that many copies of it out there. But uh, it is a lot of fun to play. The two-player mode's really good, um, and it's yeah, I'd re I really would, uh, I really would recommend it. But for now, it's Saturday morning. So I'm gonna do what I do every Saturday morning. I'm gonna figure out what games to play next. I'm gonna drink some tea. I'm gonna eat some toast. I'm gonna contemplate many, many things. Take very good care of yourselves, you lovely people, and I shall see you all on Wednesday for the next episode of One Credit Classics. Take care. <laughs>